when they're around a loving household or a loving family, they're excited, they feel good, they're enlightened, they're, they're, their eyes light up and they wanna be there so much. But then you see little things in their behavior, you know, such as bullying, such as not being able to communicate properly, not being able to express their emotions, you know, correctly, and things as far as that. And it's very damaging. as well as co-author of the book, Let's Talk Polygamy Uncensored. Um, I felt like this is a video that's going to probably touch a few people um, because I, when it comes to marriages and relationships and things like that, there can, there can be some ups and downs, some challenges and some problems that can cause some people to want to leave the relationship. But one thing that keeps them in that relationship are the children. I've heard it time and time again, I stayed for the kids, stay for the kids. I'm going to stay with them for the kids. I'm going to stay with her for the kids. Or, you know, she then to take my kids away, so I'm going to deal with what I need to deal with so I can be with my kids. And in the process of them staying together, the kids get destroyed. What do I mean by that? The kids see their parents arguing bickering, fighting, or stonewalling each other. They're not talking to each other. They may sleep in different rooms. They don't smile at each other. They don't show that love and affection towards each other. And the kids grow up thinking that that's normal, that that's how it's supposed to be. They put themselves against one another in lieu of being favorite, favorited, I guess by the kids and that's just it, it destroys them one thing it does it puts children in an adult position in a grown-up position of having to figure things out and if they're around people who they trust who's supposed to protect them who's supposed to guide them who are acting extremely immature it doesn't give them a proper leg to stand on. And like I stated before, I've seen too many, I've seen too many situations in where that was the case. Um, I have relatives, family members, um, people who were very close to me, friends that have stayed in relationships that they weren't happy or fulfilled in just because they have children together. And you tend to see the children where when they're around a loving household or a loving family, they're excited, they feel good, they're enlightened, they're, they're, their eyes light up and they wanna be there so much. But then you see little things in their behavior, you know, such as bullying, such as not being able to communicate properly, not being able to express their emotions you know, correctly and things as far as that. And it's very damaging and hurtful to see because the kids are seeing that and that's how they think that the world is and they, because they see that in their household, they wouldn't know how to interact with others who who are not in that type of situation or those who are emotionally mature because it does cause, it feeds emotional immaturity. It don't just cause emotional immaturity, it feeds emotional immaturity. So that's why we tend to see a lot of people in relationships that are still at 
a toddler level when it comes to dealing with their emotions. Because sometimes it is because how they were loved as children. And what I mean how they were loved as children, it's not just how you just love on your kids directly. It's how you love on your children indirectly. But how you are behaving around them, how you are interacting with their parents around them. And if you cannot get along for the sake of getting along, if you cannot get along because you're at a point in your life that there's nothing you can do. You've tried it all. You've tried the therapy. You've tried the counseling. You've tried the, the books and the programs and the communication workshops and anything like that, and it's just not there. And save yourself the drama and the heartache and the being stuck by letting it go. Save your children the pain of seeing their parents not love each other. Save your children the, the drama of having to figure it out when they get older. I mean, I've been through a thing like that. I've been through seeing relationships over and over and over, whether it was my mom or my grandmother or my auntie, where things were just not there, where there was a horrible communication or no communication at all. But see, the difference between how I was brought up and the person I am now is that I knew what I wanted. And I know that that's not what I wanted for my children. And that wasn't what I wanted for myself. Peace is one of the greatest things I can have. And I am responsible for my peace. And before I even had children, I made that commitment that I am going to not put them through a situation or situations where they have to figure out things that I need to know as an adult or that I need to figure out as their parent. I'm their protector and their provider as well as their educator. And that goes for you too. So you want to make sure that you're educating your children in the proper fashion, educating them to be the best that they can be, to be able to handle differences, challenges, and not feel like they just need to stay for a particular reason that doesn't allow them any fulfillment or benefit. I hope this gave you some insight. I hope this helped those who needed this. I don't know who needed to hear it, but I hope it helped those who needed to. If you know someone who is going through that type of turmoil or that type of challenge and they need to hear this video, they need to see this, please share it with them. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And until next time, make sure you are going intentionally, loving fearlessly, and connecting on a higher level every single day. If you have any questions, comments, make sure you leave them below or contact us at support at outstandingpersonalrelationships.com. Until next time, assalamu alaikum. Here are three ways outstanding personal relationships can help you. Make sure you guys are following us on our social medias at Outstanding Personal Relationships on YouTube and Facebook and on IG at Outstanding Relationships and also Clubhouse under our names. And make sure you go to OutstandingPersonalRelationships.com and sign up for our email list. And there you will get updates on our new book, Let's Talk Polygyny Uncensored. Absolutely. And... Last but not least, when it comes to coaching or counseling, if you want to work with us one-on-one -on -one or in group settings, make sure you're on that website and reach out to us because we do have very limited spots and we like usually have a wait list. So with that being said, GLC. Make sure you are growing intentionally. Loving fearlessly. And connecting on a higher level every, every single, single day. day. Stone Lake. Peace. Peace.